I want to check in once again with 13 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Brian mm -hmm. Schofield. Look at these dark skies behind me. Incredible. Uh, yesterday we saw some flare ups, but uh, nothing like what we're seeing today. We knew Wednesday and Thursday. And that's tomorrow too. Yeah, we're going to really start to flare up and see more widespread storms. You can get an idea of that. And you can see the sun poking through. And that's also what happens once these storms leave. So you folks in Green Valley, Henderson are seeing that as opposed to what you were seeing earlier. But the big storms are still farther south. Once again, SEMA Road down through Nipton, Prim as well, Mountain Pass. And now in other areas, we're seeing flare-ups. Good Springs, of course, Blue Diamond, you've been seeing that storm stick around for a while. So that's dropping a lot of rain. I'm actually a little surprised there might not be a warning there. But uh, definitely a spot where there's probably some ponding of the roadways, if not flooded out intersections. And then here's an area we saw the big storms earlier. They just did not last now. The sun is poking through and that is usually how it works in this fair desert that the storms don't always last so long, but when they do, they can certainly create that flash flooding and our big concern tonight and early, let's say late afternoon, early evening will be flash flooding and strong winds rushing out of these storms, creating some dust storms. So we'll be watching that very carefully. You can see in the uh, spring range also those storms are holding true, but they could be giving you folks in Centennial Hills a glancing blow. We might even see some rain near Floyd Lamb Park. Uh, areas along uh, maybe Cheyenne as it meets uh, up with uh, like the 215 down through Summerlin as well on Summerlin Parkway. We've seen some showers there, but the setup is this future cast only keeps it in through early afternoon or like late afternoon really, but early evening and then later evening you can see how the bulk of this makes its way out toward the east and what's left over stays west of the mountains and then we re bring it all back again by Thursday and probably into Friday as well, at least a scant chance on Friday before it's all said and done. There's that dark cloud and some sun and Temperatures kept low because of it. You will not see 110 today. We're going to end off the day in the low 100s. We'll do that again for tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow, upper 90s, low 100s by Friday. So, yeah, 90s for once in a while. And then with high pressure building back in, scouring out a lot of the moisture, we'll heat things up rapidly for the weekend and early next week. Before the middle of next week, we might do it all over again. All right, back to you, Carla. Thank you.